All right, guys, we are back for yet another round. This is round two of the NSD Invitational Aviate South Africa Tournament. This is uh, Team uh, Berserk versus Team Super Serious Gamers, SSG. This is St. Cross in the second map, second round. Berserk has to win this and win this by a 59 tickets or else SSG walks away as the winners of this match. And I'm Dreamer Fatso. Fatso, how are you? Very good, Descro. How are you doing? I'm doing real well. Uh, right now we have SSG uh, with with Raytheon pushing up into the Gypsy area. Cow Eater uh, sort of watching for a back flank just in case. Let's go and check out. We have the uh, we have the the free cam. We see that the T90 tank, which is the tank that's for Berserk, is looking at a is pushing into Alpha, but it's going to be a tank on tank battle. Pivoting back and forth. Yeah. Those tanks are going to take slugs at each other long distance, and, and you see that EZK's engineers are keeping the pressure on and, and just constantly pumping those rockets in. And I hopefully get a frag there. Yes. Going to. Um, they'll, still, they'll still stay on the free cam just for a bit more. Uh, we also have a Sudified. Sudified is uh, on Charlie on C2, watching for both Z stairs and courtyard. Yeah, and at the moment, both teams have got two flags each. Those tanks are both still up, and they're still busy in the engagement on high road. Going back to free cam, we have the T90 still on hot corner, fighting it back and forth with the other T90 tank. All calm though. Yeah, everything very, very quiet at the moment still, and, and I think teams just sizing up, waiting for an opportunity to take a push and, and go for a flag and hopefully get that ticket bleed on the opposing team. Yes. Yeah. Imwood Abrams still there getting one uh, repair. One uh, repair guy is actually watching behind just for the back flanks. They're taking place. He did, get, he did get Soti there. He did get Soti there. So that that one rip, uh, the repair guy hanging back did well, and uh, going for rebel kills now is the T90 unsuccessfully, and that that M1 Abrams is actually pushing back a bit. Yep, he is staying up. In our SSG, I've got a few ground troops with, with anti-tank rockets sitting on Alpha Flag. And, and Cow Eater gets up into Charlie Flag, takes two and goes down. So, so SSG are now making a push onto Charlie Flag while the tanks are engaging at Alpha. And they've, they've got the burn. Wraith Fiend getting the revive. Listening to the, the in-game comms, it sounds like that, that, that something happened. I don't know what. Uh, it looks like both tanks are still all up. Calliery though uh, is on is uh, on Charlie. He, was on Charlie he goes and down and though. Soti picked him. Soti picked him. He got revived and then again going down. So so SSG's push onto Charlie flag was unsuccessful at that point. Going back to Wraith Fiend. And now Wraith Fiend pushing up to Delta flag. Picks up Archangel uphill. Nice shot there. Going to the free cam. He is going to... Is he on the rubble? No, he goes down. Yeah, he's in, he's in the rubble area. And there's going to be there's going to be a stand. There might be a standoff here at, at Delta Flag. Will Raytheon... No, Raytheon is dead. He's down, sorry. But there, is, there, there are more SSG guys pushing on to... Delta, Wraith Fiend respawns back onto Hospital. Sudified knows that there's guys there, but he himself gets taken out by Linus. Let's have a look what Car Eater can do. Is Car Eater going to be able to put pressure on that tank? Obviously, that tank engagement is still happening. He's got the M1 Abrams in tandem with him, and if they can put pressure on that T90 and get it down, hopefully they can get the break that they need to get three flags on this map. Yes, check it out the free cam. Tank on tank battles, they're just trading back and forth. Just taking shots. Almost like a game of chess at the moment, isn't it? it it's a lot of patience. Going to Cow Eater, he is thinking about pushing out Charlie. 
He sees one, takes out one. He now is bleeding it out. No other Team Berserk guys are on Charlie, but instead of being on the flag burn, he wants to get better positioning on a C2. He's pushing on to C2, and at the same time, Sudified spawns back at Charlie, but asking, where are they? It seems that Cavity does go down, and so Berserk is able to hold Charlie. Maybe. But there are pe more people burning it, so where, where are the last guys? He sees one, gets taken out by Ubermeister, but gets a respawn. One more there, takes uh, shots by Linus. He is real low. He knows there's one left. He's waiting for a peak, but no, Zip uh, Zip, Zip gets him. They are able to take back on Charlie. At the same time, we see uh, Wraith Fiend pushing on to Delta. Is he going to change his mind? No, I think he may. Both teams may be playing a bit more conservative now, although Wraith Fiend does get a great long-distance shot against Archangel using the AK. We do see this M1 Abrams tank taking a lot of damage. He is now trying to back up, but where are his engineers? Where's his Raptus? Oh no, he does go down. Doty took him down. Good RPG shot there, and it's a good question. What happened to his repair stuff? And if we quickly change to Kao Eater's point of view, the T90 getting him. So that T90 is now rolled up very nicely. There was a C4 kill in the key kill feed. There now was. There was C4 in the tank. Maybe, maybe there was. So right now, the T90 is, is up. The M1 Abrams is down. This may be the opportunity going to Sodi. Sodi is on, Char and on Charlie, but he himself goes down. Cow Eater throwing a lot of RPGs at him at the same time. Wraithing, though, gets a double on Delta, uh, stopping uh, a Berserk push onto Delta, uh, holding it just fine. SSG has a three cap burn and is contesting on Charlie. N uh, although I think Sodi is able to kill all the folks that were at Charlie, maybe. But still, they have lost the majority here and they are in trouble. Sodi though with a mad dash revive shoot the M16 does take out one but he himself goes down. Wow this is not looking good for Berserk. They even even though they were able to take out the enemy tank uh, they're not able to hold anything. Yeah SSG have now got the the bleed on on BZK and and Soti, I think, is going to take a push. Oh, he gets backraged. He was going to go for Alpha Flag. They know that they need to get another flag just to stop that bleed, just to slow things down and, and maybe coordinate another push on another flag. But at the moment, SSG have got the upper hand. Yes. Wraith Fiend goes down. The TIA tank is uh, up. Going to, ooh, going to the M1 Abrams. M1 Abrams is doing something very unorthodox here, pushing directly into the courtyard. While this is a, this allows you to get closer to Charlie, it makes you extremely vulnerable from all the sides. And as the T90 tank is there, the T90 can actually push a little bit towards the D flag, and, and we'll be able to get shots maybe. But he himself is yeah, is, is real low, uh, real low. Going to Sudi, Sudi is repairing his T90 tank. And it's 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 getting repaired. It's getting there. It's okay. Yeah. The the M1 Abrams is still near, uh, going back from jungle back onto Alpha with Cow Eater and company. Wraith Fiend going up ventilation shafts. He's putting a push on Charlie flag because you can see they already got troops there. And SSG are now burning down Charlie. They've got three three, man. three troops on Charlie. Pre-nading Z stairs just in case, but knows that there's guys on C2 waiting for them to peek. He's putting all of his. They get the new to SSG. One push is zip zip does get taken out. Wow! Wraith with a double. This this is what they needed to hold this Charlie. Oh yeah, good work by SSG, and, and, and it's interesting to see that BZK have now taken up uh, two flags, while SSG have also got two flags. Yes, going to Cow Eater, repairing the M1 Abrams on Alpha, going around to try to rage around Alley, maybe see a few guys, does he see anything, doesn't see anything. But they've got the burn now, and, and here comes Wraith Fiend up zigzag. Oh, and he gets picked immediately. Yes, going to Sudi. 
free kill. We got sakes. tank on now. Bravo now. Bravo. Sirius oh, waiting on Charlie. I managed to get Charlie. <laughs> The reversal of roles now, BZK taking up three flags and SSG only have one. But yes. they've got a bleed on, on yeah, they've got a burn on Bravo flag, it looks like it. They, they do have a burn on Bravo flag and Wraith Fiend has options of pushing Alpha versus Charlie. Instead he goes Gypsy using the uh, the window cut, that little jump. A little bit of parkour action. We go to Kao Eater's feed, you'll see he's using that grass as cover. He manages to get a pick. Yes, going to the free cam. Is he going to push up to Dalton? There is a Charlie push by SSG. They are holding it, they are bleeding it out. Although Sudi does end up defending it successfully. And another good pick on Nerve. Gets the revive. And uh, BZK doing a good job of keeping Charlie. And, and we're back to two flags each. Sodi taking a good double pick there again on Linus and Nerve. Great work by Sodi picking them up as they come up. Ventilation shafts. What are we pushing for now, guys? Bravo? Going to Cow Eater, pushing on. Oh, he was going jungle, and now he's thinking about going to courtyard or not. Even flags, as you said. Score right now is. Um, it's almost even. It's almost even. Although I like how the the, the freak the the M1 Abrams is pushing up again back into that courtyard. It's very risky, but if you have enough support, you can get out of there, especially if you maintain good angles. Uh, we have Cow Eater. Oh, he's back up, holding down an Alpha, going to Wraith Fiend, deciding where to go. Yeah, and he's gonna he's gonna push back towards Bravo because BZK are responding and, and picking up Bravo. So will Kai to be able to deter them? We'll have to see. Let's have a look. Will he get go for a rubble kill? And they get it. BZK have now got three tickets. Goes for a rubble kill. Changes quick. Nice good shots. Pick there on Sapphire. Will he get the other? Ah, oh, unfortunately. And even if he had gotten Ranger. The T90 tank was there waiting for him. Yes, score right now 178 to 148. Wraithy takes out one. SSG is up by 30 tickets. But BZK have three flags and they've got the bleed. Yes, fight between uh, Wraith Fiend and, and Sudi. And Sodi pulling back towards Charlie. Oh, he knew Linus was coming. <laughs> he knew he was coming. That was real smart because he knew there was guys on Charlie and knew. And and further, he suspected that Raytheon probably would have told his team that there was a guy there. <laughs> yeah, good job. Wow, wow, wow. Sudi with a double. Great. Fantastic work. They are holding it. Push back in there to Charlie. Linus does take him out. Uh, and is it a repair tool kill? We just had a tank go down repair tool at Alpha. If we see on Kawi's feed, it cleaned it all out there at Alpha Flag. So BZK just lost their tank. That they did. And wow, look at this. Uh, a lot of flags burning. Alpha's burning. Charlie's burning. We see who is going to take back on Alpha. I want to say that Berserk. No, no. SSG does take back Alpha, or Berserk does take back on Alpha. No, but I'm uh, I'm I'm confused here, guys. What who has what what points right now? What, what's happening now, Dasko? BZK have got all four flags. Bravo is burning, and and it's a big big problem for SSG. They're gonna have to fight back and get some flags back because yes. a four flag bleed is is very rapid. You can see their tank aggressively pushing out towards Delta flag. Kawa Eater pushing into Alpha flag. Wraith Fiend also flanking around towards Gypsy, and they know that they have to get an advantage back. Soti spawns back and takes down the SSG, gets a double. They wow. Snuffs out the f no, Wraith Fiend is there in defense with his team. They, they're pushing for Alpha and Bravo at the moment, Dasko. They know they have to slow that bleed down. Great work by Wraith Fiend. Yeah, Wraith Fiend pushing in, ends up getting one. Oh, but Sudi takes him out. Sudi gets back up. Uh, does go down himself. I think that in the end, yes, SSG does take back 
will start to take back Alpha, but this is just such an intense fight. Lots of revives, lots of damage being thrown both ways, but SSG does take back Alpha, does take back Bravo. Score right now is nearly even. It's 120 versus 129 in favor of Berserk. Yeah, that was a great passage of play by, by SSG. They knew that they were in a lot of trouble. They had a four flag bleed on them and they had to do something. And they did. They responded very well and grabbed Alpha and Bravo quickly with, I think, about a 20 to 30 ticket bleed, which is which is great work. And yeah, it's a that, that is a major back. shift in tickets on this map. And for those that, that don't play St. Crossing that often in Conquest Small, uh, having a four cap as Russians is a big deal. It means that U.S. is basically, they can only spawn at the back side of their base, and they have to cross the bridge, cross that, 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 that sand river, and that is a, a huge encumbrance. We see Soti coming down towards Alpha to give some support to his tank on ground. And they're burning back Alpha immediately is BZK. Great work there. They do, responding immediately. They do gray it out. Oh, That's interesting. It's going to be interesting to see. Look what at all SSG the repair tools the on that tank. Go. So many. The T90 killing dudes as they they swarm him, but they are able to take it out. Berserk is able to maintain their triple on this. Going to Sudi. Sudi does take out Nerve, but he himself goes down. I think if we quickly go to Kawira's feed, you'll see he's pushing in on Delta Flag. He's going to get in that rubble and, and hopefully be able to get the new there. They know once again that they're bleeding tickets quite rapidly. Oh, Cow Eater. See Zip Zip. Takes him out. They are uh, pushing back on Delta. Sees another one. And uh, his teammate does end up getting the kill with the small, but he gets an assist on it. Getting the med pack out, being smart about it. They will. He's still on 3% health, his Kawita. No, he'll get that heal up. Yes. In the meantime, Wraith Fiend pushing on Charlie flag. So, so SSG have managed to get two flags back, and they've got the bleed already now on Charlie flag. They're going for that three flag advantage. Soti doing good defense, but it's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen. Yes, Sudi pushing on a Charlie. Uh, they are trying to maintain the defense on here, just maintain what they have for parity. Going to the free cam, uh, we see on Alpha uh, a, a tank battle. The Berserk tank fighting on Gypsy, turret constantly firing. It's e it's it's even flag caps right now. Let's get, let's go, let's go, let's go on it. It's it's 114 to 84 in favor of Berserk. Cow Eater fires his shot, but doesn't get anything. Go instead for repairs. And we'll see now. Soti is Cow Eater repairing. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna push him hard. It's down. Was that a javelin kill? That was a javelin kill. Uh, very smart. Remember, guys, is that don't always assume the enemy tanks to be running IR some, or, or smoke. Sometimes they don't run smoke, and it allows you to use that javelin. This is a big deal for SSG. They're down by, uh, by, by almost a 20-ticket margin, maybe a little less, but it allows them to get back three cap. The bleed's in their favor. Yeah, okay. That's correct, Dasko. And if they can, if they can get BZK down to 58 tickets, they know they've got the game. So they're yes. going to be pushing on that bleed constantly, fighting for that three flag advantage. Time is in their favor. A lot of margin. You'll see that Wraith Fiend doing a great job there in the shops. Him and Soti are looking at it. Oh, and he picks Soti off. Good shooting by Wraith Fiend. Yes, Wraith almost gets a double. No, his teammate cleans it up instead, but he sees one more. Watch out. No. Multiple kill assists there. Good yes, Cow Eater ends up uh, doing an amazing job getting three kills there. But he himself goes down. And Alpha is burning. So BZK pushing for Alpha flag. You'll see Soti will get in on that spawn room and hopefully pick off. Yes, he needs to get there fast, though. The bleed's in their favor right now. 
79 to 87. They are down. They have to win by 59 tickets total. This they only have they have less than 20 tickets to work with here. This is going to be very difficult for uh, for Berserk to, to do anything here, uh, let alone maintain a a triple here. They're they're having so much trouble holding just two points. They managed to get Alpha Flag back, but. Again, the, the tank is just is just, is just oh flag. the tank is just uh, annihilating them. Going to cow eater, cow eater does take out zip zip, going for the back rage on alpha, but he's got two percent health. I don't know how uh, smart this is going to be. Maybe his teammate will. Throw. Oh, but he's trying to back rage the tank does end up getting is he going to get that? kill? Wow, oh, cow! I can't believe he got two percent health. He's got two percent health. Is he going to get it? Oh, the, tank oh the tank does go down. Cow Eater with 2% health, uh, putting the team on his back and taking out that tank. I think this is going to secure the SSG win uh, for this game. Definitely, and, and great work there by Cow Eater. Despite being on low health, sees the tank comes up. The tank misses its first shot, and he gets there for the repair yes. tool. Gets it down to low oh, enough. He just needed a little bit of splash damage. A little bit of splash damage would have been the only thing that, that would have, would have uh, pushed him down. He was that low on health. Cow Eater with a double. Will he get a triple? He's going out the third one, and he gets a shot on it, but not enough. Archangel does take him out. But, guys, I, I, I that's it. One more ticket. Yeah. I think that'll be the game. Well done to SSG. Yes, that is the that is that. There is no way that Berserk can win now. They had to win by 59 tickets. They have bl bled them down enough. SSG will move on uh, to the next round of the NSD Invitational. Berserk's not out yet, though. Berserk will be able to play in the lower bracket and still have a chance to get to the finals. We will that's though correct, keep. We're on D, you know. Uh, medical, yeah. Keep up. Uh, uh, what's that, Fatso? I was saying, definitely, I was agreeing with you that it's it's still not over yet for BZK. They'll go down into the losers bracket and they still have a chance in, in competing and, and getting up there and once again qualifying for the finals. Given that they continuously win all their games in the losers bracket. Yes, they still have an opportunity. Nonetheless. We check Cow Eater's feed, we'll see. Okay, they're in Gypsy. Yes. Kits and going back to his anti tank kits again. And they're and they're trying to get Delta kids. back to try to secure that burn. While we uh while this match ends and we leisurely watch the rest of this, uh let's talk about MVPs. Who do we think uh was the, the, the best MVP on SSG? Nice, I'm running. We only think from, no, we, from SSG's point of view. Uh, we only saw a few perspectives, so we didn't see all of them. But, but I'll tell you, Cow Eater gets it for me. Played engineer and medic and support. He has played three separate classes in the, all these matches. You have to give it to him for having that versatility. Most certainly, I think he's kept the team together very well, and and he's he's just. He performs well in any kit given and having a player that can change kits as is needed incredible i definitely agree with you and a second up from an ssg point of view is linus we might not have his feed on this one but go watch his metro rounds he played an incredible game in metro yes and then while we only had uh zip zip and sudified on uh on team berserk sudified's performance uh was was very admirable i thought that he did uh, the, his ability to get doubles and triples consistently was something to be noteworthy, and uh, he played real smart. He was playing smart and be able to always getting flanks, always be moving around. Uh, but being knowing when to be patient when it when it matters, especially when trying to hold Charlie down. Yeah, definitely. And and patience is key in a game like this. You you often get lost up in the heat of the battle and you rush in and run into a firefight without watching so he's got that ability just to slow it down and wait for the opportunity and as you said consistently get two three kill picks i mean that's that's a really great ability to have especially when you're playing at such a high tier where one bullet will kill you getting two three guys fantastic ability and, and hats off to Soti for performing very well yes we know to, to wraith fiend 44 mag i mean it is 51 to 27 in favor of SSG.
I think they'll just be they'll be smiling a bit, even though BZK have got the three flag burn on them. Yes, yeah, they 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 know they have flag, won this. Oh, you got it. Nice. And Raything goes oh, for magnum the magnum kill. Oh, I'm done. He's real low, but this is a big SSG push onto Alpha. Just trying to get some some parity here. Raything still picking. Really very, very wow. talented. Wow, Sudified a, a though really cool goes control. for a double uh, on Alpha, but he himself goes down. Let's go to Cow Eater though, he's on Bravo, ends up getting taken out by Archangel from Team Berserk. Oh no though, but look at this, the T90 tank is back on Alpha, going to the free cam. That T90 tank is annihilating, look at that kill feed, that T90 is just massacring all the players on SSG. Where is the, where is the SSG tank? Where is it? Absolute mayhem going on there, Wraith Fink trying to, they're keeping the res train going, Cow Eater firing rockets. It's all going on at a oh, flag at the moment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, there goes the tank. Tank down. Good work. C4 kill by Ubermeister. Good work. Yes, it is now... Uh, it is now 27 to 17 in favor of SSG. But they don't They don't have the triple. The triple is against them. Take him down, don't worry. I'll take him down. Got him. Yeah, Soti still picking off. Soti with a double. Oh. He shoots from <laughs> there. That's great work. You see, as we were saying, that's great. His ability to consistently pick off guys, unfortunately getting taken out by Linus there. But it's really, it's proved a very big strength for them. But just not enough for the for the day. No. Not enough. I must say SSG did deliberately win this round. I didn't see any big issues with 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 player dropping so um not not as as much controversy relative to what we saw in metro yeah, it is now 10 to 7 and fit but berserk has the lead uh, point, although you never know it could go in favor of um <laughs> you go favor ssg no it's uh, they're all dying like crazy uh they only have four tickets remaining that's gonna be the end so fatso where can they uh find you on the internet Hey guys, you want to follow me on Twitter, I'm at Fatso, PH4, TS0. On YouTube, you can find me at Fatso3, PH8, TSO3, the number. And uh, you can follow me on Twitch, I stream from time to time at PH4, TSO. Thanks very much, Dasgro. Thanks for watching, guys, and well done to SSG. Well done indeed. See you guys later. Oh, here it comes! Oh, the red comes out, one more left. Oh, the All right, guys, we are back for yet another round. This is round two of the NSD Invitational AV8 South Africa Tournament. This is uh, Team uh, Berserk versus Team Super Serious Gamers, SSG. This is St. Cross in the second map, second round. Berserk has to win this and win this by a 59 tickets or else SSG walks away as the winners of this match. And I'm with Fatso. Fatso, how are you? Very good, Daskro. How are you doing? I'm doing real well. Uh, right now we have SSG uh, with with Raytheine pushing up into the Gypsy area. Cow Eater uh, sort of watching for a backflank just in case. Let's go and check out. We have the uh, we have the the free cam. We see that the T90 tank, which is the tank that's for Berserk, is looking at a is pushing into Alpha, but it's going to be a tank on tank battle. Pivoting back and forth. Yeah. Those tanks are going to take slugs at each other long distance, and, and you see that EZK's engineers are keeping the pressure on and, and just constantly pumping those rockets in. And I hopefully get a frag there. The T90 still on hot corner. Fighting it back and forth with the other T90 tank. All calm though. Yeah, everything very, very quiet at the moment still, and, and I think teams are sizing up, waiting for an opportunity to take a push and, and go for a flag and hopefully get that ticket bleed on the opposing team. Yes. 
M1 Abrams still there getting one uh, repair. One uh, repair guy is actually watching behind just for, yes. Going to, um, they'll still, they'll still stay on the free cam just for a bit more. Uh, we also have uh, Sudified. Sudified is uh, on Charlie on C2. Watching for both Z stairs and courtyard. I made it in to say. Yeah, and at the moment, both teams have got two flags each. Those tanks are both still up, and they're still busy in the engagement on high road. Going back to free cam, we have...